Welcome to Esoteric Thoughts. In an earlier video, I tackled the subject of biblical typology, and since then, many subscribers have requested I do a series solely on the esoteric side of films that are based on religion and the subtle way religious messages are conveyed through films. Probably the most popular superhero ever is Superman, created in the 1930s by two Jewish men who wanted to show the Jewish immigrant experience and they used that influence very heavily when they created the fictional figure. In terms of the composition of the character, the name Clark Kent was formed from combining actors Clark Gable and Kent Taylor. The hands on the hip pose was taken from Robin Hood. The authors drew from biblical heroes such as Samson, the strongest man in the Bible, and Moses, who helped free God's people from slavery. Superman is a superhero whose origins lie in Jewish mythology. The character Superman does not purport to be an accurate theological representation of Jesus, but the esoteric understanding of the fictional hero Superman reveals the biblical premise on which the character was cleverly modelled on. Superman has a totally unique birth. He's the first child born in centuries of a natural birth. As on Krypton, everyone is conceived through a sterile process that does not include sexual reproduction. Jesus, on the other hand, has a unique birth as he was born of a virgin. Superman's heavenly name is Kal El, a Hebrew word translated as voice of God. One of Jesus' heavenly names is Emmanuel, God is with us. Superman's heavenly father is called Jor El. This has a spiritual meaning as El in Hebrew means God. Jesus' heavenly father is God, also known as El. His earthly mother is Martha. Pre-1950s, she was actually called Mary. Jesus' earthly mother was called Mary. Superman came to Earth and was raised by his adopted father, Jonathan Kent. Jesus came to Earth and was raised by his adopted father, Joseph. Jor L encodes the Codex, which contains all possibility of life in the heavenly realms into the blood of Cal el Superman. Christianity holds the same notion for life and salvation that is only found in the blood of Jesus. Superman visits the Arctic wilderness to speak to his father's spirit. Jesus also goes to the wilderness to fast. Throughout his life, Superman is mocked and taunted, but still refused to retaliate in words and actions. Jesus was afflicted and oppressed, but never retaliated in words or actions. Superman had tremendous powers as a child, but refrains from using them unless to serve others. Jesus came in humility and refrained from using his omnipotent powers. Superman battles the evil forces of kryptonites, intent on destroying him. Jesus battles the forces of Satan. Lex Luthor is the name of the villain. Lucifer is the name of the villain. Both Superman and Jesus were sent to earth by their fathers to save the world, knowing that humanity would reject them. Both characters start their mission at 30 years of age. Superman gives himself up in a crucifix pose at the age of 33 years old and fulfills his mission for which he came to earth. Jesus dies on a crucifix cross at the age of 33 years old and fulfills his mission for which he came to earth. Superman was cut off by the, his heavenly father for the good of humanity. Jesus was forsaken by his heavenly father for the salvation of humanity. The character Lois Lane is intent to spread the news of Superman. She works for a newspaper company. Mary Magdalene is collectively called to participate in his mission by spreading the news. Superman dies and is resurrected. Jesus dies 
and is resurrected. Inasmuch as the Superman character is a composite figure, so is Jesus. Given the similarities, some Christians actually use the symbolism to reinforce Christian supremacy as an illustration to teach and preach about Jesus, especially to children. The film offers to them a means to help implant a religious thought process into young minds. Every day we subconsciously see religious themes all around us, not fully understanding what these represent or the subtle way such symbolism is used. We will explore more esoteric symbolism in films in future videos.